Everything you need to know about umbilical hernias in dogs. Umbilical hernias are when the contents of a dog's abdomen protrude through an opening around their navel. These types of hernias are usually genetic and are more common in some breeds. These include the Airedale Terrier, Pekingese, and Basenji. Additionally, umbilical hernias are most common in puppies. In this video, we'll take a look at the symptoms of umbilical hernias in dogs, as well as symptoms and treatment options. Before we get started, please help us out by subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to ring that bell to see our frequently posted content. If your pup does experience any ailments or symptoms referenced within this video, we highly recommend seeking advice from your local professionals. Did you know you can now visit brooklynscorner.com to find local vets in your area? What is an umbilical hernia? An umbilical hernia is when something protrudes from the area around a dog's navel. This could mean a protrusion of abdominal lining, fat, or organs. This type of hernia occurs when the umbilical ring doesn't close after birth. There are two types of umbilical hernia. Reducible. Reducible umbilical hernias are smaller and refer to hernias where the protrusion is abdominal lining or fat and can be pushed back into the abdomen. The main symptom for reducible hernias is swelling. Irreducible. Irreducible umbilical hernias are larger and refer to hernias where the protrusion is one or more organ. In these cases, the affected organ can become trapped and its function could be compromised. In serious cases, the organ could be strangulated, which could cut off blood flow and cause tissue death. Irreducible hernias have more symptoms than just swelling. Symptoms of umbilical hernia. Protrusion. This looks like swelling under the navel and can get worse when the dog is straining, barking, or standing. Warmth at the swollen site. Vomiting. Lack of appetite. Depression. Noticeable pain. Causes of umbilical hernia. All dogs have an umbilical ring that functions like a human umbilical cord. In dogs, the umbilical ring is an opening around their navel that allows blood vessels to bring nourishment to the fetus. The umbilical ring should close on its own after birth, but for some dogs, it doesn't. It's unknown exactly why this is, but there is likely a genetic predisposition as umbilical hernias are more commonly seen in some breeds. Before we get into some of the treatments available, please feel free to comment below. Sharing is caring. Let us know your pooch's name, dog breed, and some of the issues you've experienced with umbilical hernias. Treatment of umbilical hernia. For hernias that are very small, under a quarter of an inch, in puppies under six months old, vets usually recommend leaving them to close on their own. Untreated hernias in young puppies usually close before the dog is six months old. If your dog doesn't have surgery for a hernia, keep an eye on it for any changes. In adult dogs, surgery is usually recommended for small, reducible hernias. Surgery is required for irreducible hernias. During surgery, the vet will remove scar tissue, return organs to their proper place, and close the hernia with sutures. If umbilical hernias are caught early enough, they can be treated at the same time as neutering or spaying. As in all cases, surgery and anesthesia come with a mild risk of bleeding and infection. If your dog does have surgery for an umbilical hernia, follow your vet's guidelines following the procedure. Make sure your dog rests and keep an eye out for any adverse reaction to the operation. Check your dog's incision site daily for any site of infection and check that nothing is protruding. When your dog is recovering, take them to do their business on a leash and avoid running, jumping, and playing. Well, that's all from us. Thanks for tuning in to learn everything there is to know about umbilical hernias in dogs. We hope it helped. Be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.